Hardy Diagnostics Hardy Valve Media Fill Test Kits are recommended for routine use in the monitoring of aseptic procedures used in compounding sterile preparations. The kit contains the necessary materials for one pharmacist or technician to perform the Media Fill Challenge testing as specified in USP Chapter 797. Hardyville High Complexity Media Fill Test Kit contains one 125 ml bottle of triptych soy broth powder, nine empty sterile 20 ml vials, one Whirlpack bag, a results log sheet, and instructions for use. When performing media fill risk challenges, use procedures and techniques that most closely resemble those used during routine compounding of CSPs. If necessary, the following procedure may be modified to include more complex manipulations. Once begun, the test is completed without interruption. This procedure monitors aseptic technique and includes filtering a non-sterile solution through a micropore filter. Controls are included in the test procedure. Bacterial growth is expected in the control vials because the solution dispensed into the vials is not sterile and has not been filtered. Label the empty sterile 20 ml vials with the date challenges performed and the initials of the person performing the procedure. Label three of the vials, control one, control two, and control three. Label the remaining six vials with the numbers one through six. In an area outside the laminar flow workbench or isolator, remove the cap from the triptych soy broth powder bottle by unscrewing it. Using a graduated cylinder, Prepare a 3% solution of non-sterile triptych soy broth by adding 100 ml of non-bacteriostatic water to the bottle containing 3 grams of powder. Replace the cap and tighten. Invert the bottle several times to mix. Ensure that all the powder is dissolved before proceeding. Take the prepared non-sterile broth to the laminar flow workbench or isolator. Remove the tamper evident seal caps. Clean the septum ports with a sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe. Withdraw 25 ml of the broth using a 30 ml sterile syringe. Transfer 5 ml of the broth to the vial labeled as control 1. Remove the needle from the syringe and using aseptic technique, affix a sterile 0.2 micron porosity filter unit and a 20 gauge needle to the syringe. Inject 10 mLs from the syringe into the vial labeled 1. Inject another 10 mLs into the vial labeled 2. Aseptically remove the filter unit and needle. Return the needle to the syringe. Withdraw another 25 mLs of non-sterile triptych soy broth. Transfer 5 mLs of the broth to the vial labeled as control 2. Repeat steps 5 and 6 using vials 3 and 4. Aseptically remove the filter unit and needle. Return the needle to the syringe. Withdraw another 25 ml of the non-sterile triptych soy broth. Transfer 5 ml of the broth to the vials labeled as control 3. Repeat steps 5 and 6 using vials labeled 5 and 6. Apply sterile adhesive seals aseptically to the rubber closures once the vials have been sealed. Carefully place the vials in the provided Whirlpack bag for transport to the incubator. A convenient write-on area on the bag may be used to identify the technician and the date of the test. Incubate the samples at 20 to 25 or 30 to 35 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 14 days. If two temperatures are used for incubation, incubate the samples for at least seven days at each temperature. Examine the samples every few days for the presence of turbidity or growth of bacteria. Growth may not be evenly dispersed throughout the vial. Tap or swirl the vial to observe for growth that may have settled at the bottom. If growth is observed, the vial may be discarded. Do not continue to incubate for the full 14 days. Visible growth or turbidity seen on or before 14 days of incubation 
is a positive test for the presence of bacteria. The media field challenge test has failed and indicates that a non-sterile technique was used during the test. No growth or turbidity observed in 14 days indicates the media field challenge test was successful and technique used during the media field challenge test was aseptic. Record results on the results log sheet. Discard all used syringes, needles, and completed test files as biomedical waste.